I got that juice, juice. No AP. She got that juice, juice, juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday.、Uh, Swizz Beats and Alicia Keys and their $20 million California mansion is on the cover of Architectural Digest. And they gave us a, an amazing tour of their Dreamland modernistic estate, which overlooks the Pacific Ocean. Now, they call it Dreamland because this is so cool. Swizz Beats had the 11,000 square foot California mansion as his iPhone. Screensaver for years, from 2007, as a matter of fact. The home、um, provided the inspiration behind Tony Stark's Razor Point Bachelor Pad and Iron Man, and Swiss said that he was low key manifesting it. He said, when your screensaver comes to life, it's unbelievably crazy. And that's where they came up with the name Dreamland for the home、uh, because his dream became a reality when he received a phone call that the property was going on to the market in 2019. Alicia and Swizzy bought the house for $20.8 million and then moved from New York City to the West Coast. They have over 1,000 works of art all throughout the home. I mean, incredible pieces. I've been a fan of Swiss Beats for Years have been following him for years. He has always been a huge art collector.、Um, and he said that he loves that 90% of the art in their home is by artists who are now friends. And he said, you know, we've broken bread with them. They've partied at our house. They've spent the night. It's not transactional for us.、Um, they also have a home studio that was built so that、uh, they can get working on their crafts whenever their creative juices are flowing. And you can watch the fabulous tour of their incredible home on Architectural Digest's YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out. And of course, follow them on their Instagram pages.、Uh, Will Smith has a new book coming out. Will, it drops on November 9th. It's a, a, an upcoming message. Memoir.、Um, here's something real serious, though. He talks about how he once contemplated murdering his father. Now, his parents were estranged during his childhood.、Uh, they eventually divorced in 2000 when he was 13. He said that he always sent,、uh, took his mother's side, and when he was taking care of his father one day, he wrote that he felt the urge to harm him in honor of his mother. His father, Willard, was debilitated with、uh, cancer, and Will was tending to him. As he momentarily thought he had an opportunity to get revenge on his father, he talks about how one time he paused at the top of the stairs and thought to himself, I could shove him down. I could easily get away with it. I'm Will Smith. No one would ever believe that I killed my father on purpose. I'm one of the best actors in the world. My 911 call would be Academy Award level. Now, he, of course, never went through with any of his sinister thoughts,、um, and his father did eventually pass from cancer in 2016. Also, dropping at the same time of Will Smith's memoir, Will, is his YouTube original series called The Best Shape of My Life, which we've been following him on his Instagram and seeing him put little pieces of that together. That's going to drop the day before on November 8th. And a sneak preview of the series shows that Will Smith actually suffered from suicidal thoughts during last year. Pandemic quarantine. So we're getting to see another side of Will in both this YouTube series and his memoir. And that's your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all new Kiss 96.